Think about this for a second. For two millennia, the Temple Mount, one of the most intensely scrutinized, fought over, and sacred spots on Earth, has held onto a secret so tightly that not a single shovel, radar pulse, or even the softest human footstep ever got close. It's a place steeped in layers of history, where every inch has been poured over, yet it still had something hidden, something profoundly hidden. Then, just last Tuesday, something incredible happened. An AI, humming away on a standard laptop in Tel Aviv, registered a faint, almost imperceptible ping, just one quiet alert. But that single signal? It wasn't just a blip, it was a revelation. Suddenly, we had a detailed map of a room that literally no one knew existed, sealed tighter than any tomb you could imagine. And get this, inside, perfectly preserved, was a shallow stone basin, still partially covered in ash. The scientists who witnessed the very first render of this discovery. These are people who've seen it all. They didn't speak, they couldn't. They just stared, utterly transfixed by the screen, and then, almost in unison, a whispered, incredulous phrase escaped their lips. That's impossible. Let's cut through the sci-fi sparkle and talk hardware, shall we? This wasn't some futuristic, impossible tech. The team employed a cutting-edge convolutional neural network, a type of AI particularly adept at pattern recognition, and they trained it on an astonishingly rich dataset. We're talking meticulously detailed old British survey maps, seismic shots from the 1960s, which, believe it or not, were revolutionary for their time and fresh, high-resolution LiDAR loops. The genius wasn't in brute force but in subtlety. Instead of the disruptive process of drilling, they harnessed micro-tremor data. Imagine the city of Jerusalem breathing, tiny, almost imperceptible vibrations generated by the constant hum of traffic, the whisper of the wind, even the footsteps of countless visitors near the western wall. The AI listened to this subtle symphony of the earth, interpreting these minute shifts in density, much like how your eye instantly spots a missing piece in a complex puzzle, or how a seasoned doctor can hear an anomaly in a heartbeat. It took all this disparate data and, piece by painstaking piece, stitched together a comprehensive 3D volumetric model of the subsurface. And then, there it was, one dark, undeniable rectangle. It indicated a doorway, plugged solid with cut stone, lurking just half a meter behind the ancient Herodian courses that millions of people walk past every single day. No permits, no pickaxes, no political drama, just elegant math, immense patience and some seriously clever code. This wasn't archaeology as we knew it. This was archaeology reimagined, allowing us to see through solid rock where physical excavation is strictly forbidden. They ran the crucial scan at 3 a.m. Why then? Because that's when Jerusalem's bustling traffic finally drops to a whisper, and the ground's ambient hum subsides to its absolute minimum. For 40 intense minutes the AI didn't just scan, it listened, triangulating every faint echo, every subtle vibration bouncing back from beneath the ancient stones. The raw output, initially, was just a chaotic mess of static, a digital snowstorm of data points. But then, the algorithm, having been trained to discern order from chaos, locked onto something. It identified a distinct cavity, shaped eerily like a beehive, narrower than your average bedroom perhaps, but surprisingly tall enough for a person to stand upright. The scan revealed incredible detail. The roof was smooth with clear chisel marks still visible, suggesting meticulous ancient craftsmanship. The floor wasn't flat, it dipped gently toward a foot-wide basin, carved directly out of the bedrock itself. And inside that basin, a single paper-thin crust of ash lining it like a shadow, untouched for millennia. No scattered pottery shards, no ancient coins, no graffiti scrawled by long-lost visitors, just ash and profound silence. It was a time capsule, perfectly preserved, offering a direct, unadulterated glimpse into a distant past. Now let's be clear, ash in a sealed chamber beneath the Temple Mount isn't just some forgotten housekeeping residue. Every single grain of it is a breadcrumb, a direct link back to an ancient ritual. Think about the layers of history here. First Temple priests, for example, burned rich incense on golden altars, filling the air with fragrant smoke. Later, during the Second Temple period, Jews carried ash from sacrifices to the Kidron Valley for purification rituals. Even the Romans, after their destructive conquest, swept debris into hidden cisterns. But this ash? It never moved. 
It sits exactly where it cooled, precisely where it was left. This isn't accidental. This means the room was sealed on purpose, deliberately, perhaps overnight, perhaps in a moment of urgent crisis. The stone door itself reinforces this notion. It's a single massive slab, completely devoid of hinge sockets or any kind of handle. Someone, long ago intended for this chamber to remain closed, forever. The presence of ritualistic ash residues found in a stone basin inside a sealed chamber strongly suggests ancient worship practices, potentially linked to the first or second temple periods. This isn't just a discovery, it's a silent testament to a forgotten moment in time, offering new insights into ancient worship practices that could deepen our understanding of biblical history and religious traditions. Before the Jerusalem sunrise had even painted the sky, archaeologists in the team chat were already ping-ponging theories, each more tantalizing than the last. There were three main contenders. Option 1. Could this be a priestly hideout from the Babylonian torching of Jerusalem in 586 BCE? Imagine the chaos, the destruction. Priests, perhaps with sacred objects or vital documents, seeking refuge in a desperate attempt to preserve what they could, sealing themselves in, praying the enemy would pass. It's a chilling thought, a last-ditch effort to save a piece of their world. Option 2. A late Second Temple purification room, walled off after the Romans breached the walls in 70 CE, the Temple Mount, or Haram al-Sharif, is known to have yielded artifacts from various eras, including First Temple period items and Herodian coins, with the Roman destruction, many practices would have ceased abruptly. A purification chamber perhaps used for ritual washing or the disposal of sacred ashes, suddenly made obsolete and then deliberately sealed to prevent desecration. The ash could be remnants of daily sacrificial rites abruptly halted and entombed. Option 3. An even older chamber dating back to the first temple period itself. This theory suggests it might have been used for private incense offerings, practices that were eventually outlawed by the sweeping religious reforms of King Hezekiah in the 8th century BCE. If secret offerings were being made, that would certainly explain the need for such meticulous secrecy and sealing. Hezekiah's reforms were significant, consolidating worship practices to the temple in Jerusalem and eliminating cult activity beyond its boundaries. If this chamber predates those reforms or was used in defiance of them, it would be an extraordinary find. The key to unlocking this mystery lies in the ash itself. The lab results eagerly awaited next month will perform a chemical analysis. If it's rich in frankincense or other precious resins, we're firmly on temple turf, pointing towards a sacred, ritualistic purpose. But if it's primarily common wood smoke, then we might be looking at something else entirely, perhaps a refugee campfire, a temporary shelter for those fleeing conflict, sealing themselves in for safety. The ash chemistry will decide the fate of these theories. Let's not kid ourselves. Any hole, any new discovery, anywhere near the Temple Mount or Haram al-Sharif, as it's known in Arabic, doesn't just stay in the ground. It ricochets across diplomats' desks, echoes in international headlines, and ignites online before the dust even has a chance to settle. This site is a highly contested religious area, sacred to Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, and any new finding carries immense geopolitical weight. The Islamic Waqf, the religious trust, controls the surface and daily administration. The Israel Antiquities Authority holds the subsurface brief, a precarious balance of power. And watching like hawks are Jordan, the Palestinian Authority, and UNESCO, each with their own historical and political stakes. The AI team, well aware of this delicate ecosystem, pre-briefed every single stakeholder. Their promise was clear, firm, and non-negotiable. Zero physical intrusion. The scan lines meticulously stopped five centimeters shy of the stone door, close enough to map every detail, far enough to absolutely respect the sanctity and the complex political status quo. Even with such careful diplomacy, the implications were immediate and far-reaching. Within hours, the phrase hidden Jewish chamber was trending on Arabic social media, sparking intense debate and concern. Israeli tabloids not to be outdone countered with sensational headlines like Temple Treasure Chamber Found, both unfortunately completely miss the essential point, we have a room, a historical space not a relic stash, but narratives, especially on such a sensitive site, travel infinitely faster than facts and this one already has passports stamped in three languages. It underscores how intertwined archaeology, faith and politics are in this unique part of the world. So, what's the immediate future for this astonishing discovery? Taking samples isn't a simple matter of grabbing a spoon. 
it requires a whole new interfaith committee to green light even a micro core, literally the width of a pencil. If, and it's a big if that approval lands a fiber optic snake, a marvel of miniature engineering, will delicately slip under the sealed stone door. Its mission to vacuum up precisely one gram of that ancient ash, and then just as carefully retreat. Why so little? Because carbon-14 dating needs only a milligram, and residue analysis requires even less. Every particle is precious, every speck a potential revelation. Meanwhile, the AI isn't resting. It's tirelessly rerunning the entire 200-acre platform of the Temple Mount, hunting for more sealed negatives. These are spaces that, to the untrained eye or even older technologies, look like nothing at all. Just solid rock. But the AI has been taught to notice nothing, shaped precisely like a room. Early whispers from the lab suggest another cavity might be hiding beneath the southeast corner, closer to the Crusader Halls. The code is crunching tonight, sifting through terabytes of data, searching for the next quiet ping, the next impossible discovery. This ongoing AI-assisted exploration holds the potential to unlock even more secrets beneath this sacred and disputed location, revealing a complex underground world far more extensive than previously imagined. If you want the lab results the minute they drop, the second they're announced, you need to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Jerusalem keeps its secrets until someone builds a better algorithm, and when that happens, you'll hear it here first. It's easy to focus on the ash, the basin, the potential for ancient rituals, but for the scientists, the true marvel, the thing that leaves them genuinely speechless, isn't just the ash itself. Ash is just burnt carbon after all. It's the perfection of the seal. Think about the sheer, improbable history of this city. Jerusalem has been sacked by Babylonians, repurposed by Persians, meticulously paved by Greeks, brutally torched by Romans, re-landscaped by Byzantines, then Umayyads, Crusaders, Ottomans, and finally the British. Every single layer of this city is, by archaeological definition, chaos, a jumble of destruction, rebuilding, and upheaval. Yet this small, unassuming chamber somehow missed every earthquake, every pickaxe, every shovel. The probability of this single small space remaining utterly undisturbed, perfectly sealed, through millennia of such violent history, is laughably astronomically low. Statisticians have compared it to dropping a coin off a plane and having it land upright, perfectly balanced inside the narrow neck of a bottle. That level of improbable coincidence, that sheer defiance of odds, is what silences even the most cynical, hard-bitten archaeologist. One veteran digger, a man who'd spent decades in the dust and heat, told me, I've spent 30 years looking for a sealed context, the AI found one in a month, my life's work just got automated. It's a testament to the fact that technology can succeed where traditional archaeology, due to political and logistical constraints, cannot. I walked the western wall tunnels the morning after the leak broke. The air was cool, echoing with the murmur of prayers. Tourists snapped selfies, completely unaware that just 30 feet away, behind a perfectly ordinary-looking stone, a time capsule lay hidden. Why is the wall crying? It's just condensation. Maybe it was, or maybe just maybe the mount remembers everything. Perhaps it remembers the whispers, the prayers, the sacrifices, the tears, and the secrets. And maybe it just waited until we, as a civilization, were smart enough to listen without touching, to see without disturbing. The ground beneath our feet, especially here, holds more than just dirt and stones. It holds stories, memories, and the echoes of countless lives. So here we are. We have a room, a simple stone basin, and a pinch of ash that survived every empire, every conquest, every single upheaval because nobody, not a single soul, knew where to look. Now, the AI knows. And with that knowledge, we're forced to confront a profound question. What else is breathing quietly, patiently, under our holiest places? If one algorithm running on a laptop can redraw two millennia of certainty, Imagine what happens when the rest of Jerusalem's vast, untouched subterranean data wakes up. Until then, the chamber stays sealed, the ash stays still, and the scientists, like the rest of us, wait, speechless, for the next ping, for the next impossible revelation.